Uh, we're going to hop on over to Judy Calder. Uh, we have another question that deals with Zelda U. Obviously, given the recent news, I expect a lot of questions related to that. Uh, so Judy Calder, or at Blondie Brat, says, uh, asks, should we expect Link to appear in a blue tunic as advertised instead of his usual green garb for Zelda U? During the beginning of the game, maybe. Yeah. Like, I'm like, sure he will. At least the beginning. Yeah. There's no way they're advertising it with it and having him not wear it in the game. That would just be really Yeah. Weird. I, mean, I almost like, feel like it would be I'm, something I'm where he... I, I, I kind of wonder if he's going to start off as like a, a version of green, maybe not a completely green tunic, but like wearing green, and then maybe later on hmm. in this in this strange new avant-garde Zelda, we'll, we'll wear blue for some reason. We'll find a way. We'll find a reason why he wears blue, <laughs> but he'll, it, it'll definitely happen at some point. I think, <laughs> um, I think the better question would be like the opposite of this one like do you think he's actually going to get a green garb in the game um, Probably. because it, i think it's it's pretty obvious that if they're advertising the blue tunic and every time we've seen the game and even the official art now it's been a blue tunic the yeah. blue tunic is obviously something you're going to that's going to be in the game like there's no i that if there was one thing i could say for sure about this game it's that there's going to be a dang blue tunic in the game <laughs> um so <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't know if Epona's in the game. I don't know if Master Sword's in the game. I don't even know if the art style is going to stay the same. I have no idea about any of that stuff. Blue tunic that is staying. <laughs> um, so that, that I mean, that's why I think. Uh, you know, when you say usual green garb, I just keep thinking you mean like what he's going to wear for most of the adventure, and I think that since Adrian and I kept talking. Uh, before we even had Zelda U reveal about like changing the conventions of Zelda. And I know it's a really weird convention to change, but it would be very interesting if there wasn't a green guard and there wasn't a hat. And we just, it, it was that hood that we've seen. And it was that, that blue tunic. Like that's what he wears in this game. Um, because I think it, it's hard to like, imagine like a Zelda game without the classic look. Uh, but at the same time, like maybe that's what Nintendo thinks they need to do to keep the series fresh. Is yeah, it changes change clothes. Ridiculous. That'll interesting bring make sales up. Maybe. Well, like no, no, it's not just changing. Like, like if you look at the clothes it, we've seen so far, there appears to be a lot of symbolism in those clothes. Um, yeah, put a few squiggly been... lines on there. That'll give us a couple hundred more sales. Absolutely. <laughs> I love squiggly no, lines, guys. <laughs> No, but like on the hood, like it has like a lot of like Gerudo and Sheikah symbols. Oh yeah, put the Sheikah know, symbols no all idea. over the hood in the book. That'll drive up sales. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it, it's you're, you're kind of missing my point. Is that people like mystery and intrigue, okay? And there's no mystery and intrigue in the green tunic. Um, the, I mean, he wore it in Ocarina of Time because he was a Kokiri and all Kokiri wore it. We now know that most of the games he wears it because the legendary hero wore it, but there's not really... It, it's a symbolic thing. It's not like it actually makes a difference. Um, so it'd be, it'd be interesting if instead of wearing a green tunic that's just symbolic of you know a past hero, that he's wearing attire that's more symbolic of things going on in the game. Uh, background for the character, as an example. Because Link usually doesn't have a very strong background story. So it'd be interesting if his clothes represent a history... Of him in the world. Maybe he's like, a Sheikah. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that's what I'm saying. The Sheikah, the Gerudo, you know, there's been all that speculation about all that stuff because of his bracers and his cloak. And, and it just makes me think that it would actually drive interest by being mysterious. And, yeah, just being mysterious. Instead of going with the classic look all the time, give us something different that makes us ask questions. Yeah, I'll go for that. I would say... And I think for, like, at least the faithful Zelda fans, I think that's going to make a difference. For, like, the casuals that, I mean, I don't think the casuals are going to really care if it looks like Link or not anyways, to be honest, because they're casuals. <laughs> so, Filthy if people casuals. tell them this game is good, they're going to play it. <laughs> well, that's why I said, like, word of mouth, word of mouth is actually so important, because, like, a lot of casual gamers get into games because of word of mouth. Mm. Um, Yo, did you hear Link wears a blue tunic with like squiggles on it? That's he's so got a mysterious. ponytail as well. well I what can't the tell hell? you how many. Okay, so I I have a, I have a bunch of like uh, friends who used to play a lot of games and they don't so much anymore. But they all bought The Witcher Three because everyone kept saying that The Witcher Three was amazing and they have never played yeah. any other Witcher game. So it's kind of like 
it's kind of like the the game being fantastic and being highly critically reviewed and viewed as like a game of the year candidate is going to just make people want to play it. Plus, Nintendo's going to advertise it, of course. Um, apparently, we're having a whole E3 dedicated to it. So, if you're a gamer that watches E3, I don't know how you're not going to know about this game. <laughs> um, but it's, yeah, I, I think it's really interesting if they do stick with the blue tunic the whole game. I, I, it, it's hard for me to like as much as I think it would be cool and interesting. It's never happened before, so it's hard for me to think it's going to happen now. Um, but AJ Numa did say this is like the Zelda game he wants to use to like set up the future of the series and have all the games be based on it. So maybe, yeah, maybe. I I, I don't know what AJ Numa's thinking. He could be thinking he wants to break free of always wearing the same clothes. Um, God, I wish we had more information yeah. about this new Zelda game. That's the thing. It's, a, it's just like, yeah, it's like you're asking us this question and well, we have so little information. <laughs> Two months from now, I'm telling you, we'll know everything <laughs> we want to know. I know, right? So it's like, yes, the blue tunic is going to be in the game. We have no idea if it's going to be what you wear for the whole game. Chances are probably not because it's never happened before. But I, we don't know. We, I, I'll, I'll tell you what. If it's not answered during the press conference, if we interview AJ Nomo at uh, E3, I'll make that one of our questions. <laughs> um, it, 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 that is that is that is to say, if it's not obvious, as I said, obviously, if we in the E3 presentation or any of the videos or demos, we see him in a green garb, then we know obviously he's going to wear that. Listen, I'll tell you but what. If we AJ don't, and all we do is that. see the blue shirt, and they don't mention anything in any of their promos about, like, yeah, he's going to wear this the whole game, I will ask him and confirm. I will tell you what he'll say. He'll say, well, in this new Zelda game with a big world, we thought we would shake things up a little and give Link a blue tunic and kind of just... No, you no, know, he's not even going to say that. He'll, he, just be like, he, he'll just be like, did you see that mountain over there? Yeah, he'd be like, you can go we across can go there. there. Not in this demo. It's not incredible. in the demo today. Not, not in the demo. In the demo, you can't go there. But in the full game, you can go there. Please you can show up 2017. Yeah, but you can, can I can I can answer my question with that blue shirt? You'll find out in 2017. We just it was an afterthought. <laughs> Who cares about green anymore? I wish I wish I had someone sitting in with me that was uh, that was a, a, a translator. So like I know if the NOA translator they're gonna have with him is like purposely censoring AJ No because <laughs> they're not allowed to say certain things. We can't reveal why he like, wears blue. I, 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 That's key I've always information. wondered, if, like, because you see him talk, like, 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 well, as an example, you see uh, in some of the interviews online, like, you'll see Miyamoto talk for, like, three minutes, and then the translator says one sentence. <laughs> so it's like, what are you not telling This is all we say? can tell you. Like, this <laughs> is Zelda Wii U is, like, a, did you just, is a reboot like, of the like, franchise. Like, one, of, one of two things happened. You either didn't understand half of what he said, and you're very bad at your job, <laughs> or... He's saying stuff that te- that you know because you've been briefed beforehand that isn't supposed to get out. Um, so yeah, I, of course I, we're not we don't have a translator in house that's going to be at E three, so it's not going to. Maybe I'll meet someone at E three. Hey, you speak fluent Japanese? You're coming with me to to the interview. It's like Kami- um, it's like Kamishima pulls the translator aside like before the interview. And he's like, okay, <laughs> if he says this, 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 or this, don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know we said we were going to blow out this game at E3. All we really meant is we were going to say it's coming in 2017, a new screenshot, and a 30-second demo. Yeah. <laughs> Please enjoy. 2017. <laughs> no interviews. Oh, no interviews. Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> oh, jeez. 2018 on the new uh, HDS 3D. <laughs> th- 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 thanks for your question, Judy Calder. We've obviously gotten way off topic. Um, <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> We just know so little. Like, I, I, there was some interesting conversation, I feel, in there, but I don't... Come back in two it's months. such a hard... Like, we can't... We don't know enough to have a, any sort of logical... All we can talk about is what we want to happen. And I told you, and you probably hate me for it, and so does everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. Um, Joshua Grubbs, on our Twitter account, uh, he says, uh, do you know anything of a possible Zelda movie or show in the future. Oh, I think this guy asked me this. I Some guy messaged me on Twitter and asked me this question, and I think it was Joshua Grubbs. I told... It probably you follow him. It says you follow okay, him. Okay, well, I told him um, that I think there will be a Zelda movie in the future uh, with Nintendo gearing up to do movies and such. 
there's definitely no, you know, concrete information that there will be one. It's just my See the short for the the Star Fox animated short. <laughs> the Star Fox animated short, yeah. Um, you could see a Zelda. <laughs> no, did short. you watch it? Oh, I didn't watch I'm it. No. Did you watch it? No, I didn't. It's it is amazing. Really? I I mean, the even if you hate Star Fox Zero. It was worth Star Fox Zero coming out just to have that animated short. <laughs> I'd it, like it to see them that do that. For Zelda actually, like it could be a cartoon series. It is that good. Nice. I don't know like how they nailed it, but they just did. Well, then let's have. That's a why I had to ask if you guys like saw that, it because like if I'm the only one on this thing that's seen it, then all I can I have no one backing me up. That sucks. Has Rabbit Luigi seen it? Have you seen it? I, I have not seen it. I've I've seen screenshots of it of people and people saying, that, "Oh, it's amazing! It's the best thing in the world." But I haven't seen it myself, so I can't vouch for that. I can't back up any points. So I'm gonna say, you know, it's nice they did it. I knew Falco was holding like a SNES controller or something. Well, sorry, like I had like I, I didn't mean to cut you off. It's just like, oh man, you were so dismissing <laughs> me there, and you're like, oh, it can't be good. <laughs> Why are you even bringing that up? What was I saying? Um, it, oh yeah, it is legit good. All right, go on anyway. So. No concrete evidence there will be a Zelda movie. There was a rumor a while back um, that Disney was working on like a Zelda movie in 1998 around Ocarina of Time's release, but it looks like that's just a doctored like Cauldron of the Black whatever screenshot. Um, so yes, I think so, but there's nothing saying that yeah this is going to happen. It's just my speculation. Okay, to to answer your question directly, Joshua, um, I can safely say, um, unless for some reason uh, Mr. Luigi here has a connection I'm unaware of, I, I have, none of us know anything I have some connections, about not, a possible Zelda movie or show. Not those connections. It's not, not the connections. If I had those connections, <laughs> I'd be leaking them across the world. People need to know it's important <laughs> stuff. I know, I, I probably wouldn't do right, that, but, right. you know. Come look at me. I know things. <laughs> look at all the things I know. Um, oh. Subscribe to my YouTube channel you know, and I'll you know, tell you what Nintendo plans on doing. No, no. no <laughs> you know that. what's actually funny about that? There was, uh, what was it? Was it uh, the guy, uh, Josh from the Biplock was on a recent thing on Game Explain. Uh, <laughs> Josh from the Biplock. <laughs> and he, yeah, it was like him, Colin, and Andre. I forget what they were talking about. And I mean, when I say Colin, I mean Colin from uh, Gamnesia was on it. And... Uh, they were talking about something or other, and then, like, right towards the end, Josh, like, sort of teased that he knew something about, like, a Zelda, or, like, not a Zelda, a Nintendo making some movie thing. Um, and it's really interesting, because I'm under the impression he does not have a good relationship with Nintendo, so I don't know how he would know that information. Um, Wait, who So just teased to it? kind of bring it up, like, uh, Josh from the Bitblock. Oh, Josh. Yeah, he teased, I, and I don't know. I mean, it, he used to be on really good terms with Nintendo, so it's it's highly possible he <laughs> he's not anymore. <laughs> so, um, yeah, well, and the the situation behind why he's not is really weird. Um, before he even started ranting and raving, he got into a bad situation off someone lying about him. It was really weird. Anyways, I don't want to get into. He's he's he wears his emotions on his sleeves for anyone who. who doesn't know who I'm talking about. You can just go watch his YouTube videos. You'll see. Go follow him on really Twitter cool. and you will see really what I mean. <laughs> um, well, yeah, his Twitter is where it's really bad. His YouTube actually isn't that bad. Um, he does make, he does have that, like that make believe series. Yeah. That um, just got taken down by Nintendo. The animal crossing one. That's amazing. Yeah. No, no. It, it's, it's not like he jumped the gun on that. It's back up. Um, it, it, it sounded like it was like a copyright claim and then Nintendo dropped it. It was something weird. Um, so we'll see. He said his, his next Make Believe is hitting on May 1st, so that's tomorrow. So we'll see if that actually happens. But it was really cool. Um, anyways, kind of getting off point here because there's a lot of drama surrounding that particular person. Um, I just want to bring it up because he apparently hinted at there being some sort of movie and whether or not it's related to Zelda, I have no idea. Uh, what I do know is that there have been pitches made to Nintendo for shows and movies uh, just based on the coverage that we've done at Zelda Informer, not just the potential... Yeah, that was amazing. ...whatever, doctored screenshot, maybe not doctored, no official word. Um, but there's been... Uh, we posted a little animation uh, a, a few years back that was submitted to Nintendo by an actual studio uh, for a cartoon idea. If I can find it, I'll put a link... 
I'll put a link to it down in the in the description if I can happen to dig it up. I know it's somewhere on our site. Uh, not a lot of sites actually have it anymore. Uh, and I believe the video still works on it. I think it was posted on Vimeo. Uh, and there was another pitch that I know was made to them for another cartoon series. And there still is... This isn't necessarily a movie. This is for a TV show. Uh, those Netflix rumors came from some pretty high places. Uh, and while... They were shot down. That does not mean that Netflix did not approach Nintendo and that there was not a teaser made for a potential series. Because uh, that's usually what happens is teasers are made and that information kind of gets out as, oh, it's happening. And Nintendo never approved of it, so it never really went through or didn't approve of it at that time. Um, so and that was for a live action show. Right, so it's highly possible that there's something. Uh, Nintendo does own... Uh, movie studio for those who don't know they, they bought it like three or four years ago um, and I'm assuming a lot of that is where some of their animations have come from their Pikmin shorts that they have in the 3DS the recent Star Fox one I'm assuming that that, uh, that place made a lot of those under the direction of Miyamoto so I think I think a Zelda movie can happen yeah. I think what will lead <laughs> into a Zelda movie is if there's voice acting in Zelda U um, if they take that step and add voice acting in, <laughs> that's really the only bridge we need now to get to a movie. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Wait for Zelda U. Then I'll give you an answer. Once we know the answer, like though. Five an, an opinion on that. Answer, that we're like, like, hey, we're not all the information we have in right? right? like, uh. All the information. Uh, you know what? I'll ask Iji Nomo at E3 and get another non answer <laughs> for you. Um, you again. <laughs> It is something we have considered, but we have no information at this time. <laughs> Remember to tell me afterwards. Well, like, oh, yeah, I'm sure he's considered making. I don't know. Okay, I was going to an inappropriate place. I have to, <laughs> to, at the back up a little bit there. Uh, <laughs> oh, geez. All right, Nate, mate. Remember, remember, remember our audience. All right. Um, 